OptiMax ST compatible installed onto jacketed fiber cordage. Installation of the OptiMax ST compatible connector onto jacketed fiber cordage is very similar to the 900 micron buffered fiber procedure. For demonstration purposes, the multi-mode 50 micron OptiMax ST connector installation procedure will be shown. The procedure is applicable for all types of OptiMax ST compatible connectors, multi-mode 50, 62.5 micron, and single mode. Open the component bag and select the connector body and the rear housing, and throw away the 900 micron strain relief boot. If the connector's front dust cap is missing, don't install this connector, because the end face could be damaged. Open the OptiMax ST accessory kit and select the jacketed strain relief boot. To choose the other component, you must first determine the diameter of the fiber jacket. The fiber preparation guide has two holes for this purpose. The appropriate crimp sleeve is indicated beside the hole that you have chosen. You have now selected all the necessary components you need. Select the ST OptiMax installation tool and clamp from your kit. Attach the clamp to your work table or on the equipment rack. Open the installation tool by rotating the tool body until you hear a click. The installation tool should then be secured on the clamp. With its release wire on top, position the connector body in the installation tool. Lock the connector in place by simultaneously pushing and turning the housing a quarter of a turn in a clockwise direction. Leave both dust caps on the connector. Now, fasten the strain relief boot onto the rear portion of the connector housing. You will notice a tight fit. Slide the rear housing and boot assembly down the fiber, narrow end first, until it is out of your way. With the fiber preparation guide, Mark the jacket at 40 millimeters. Using the wire stripper, carefully cut and remove the outer jacket from the end of your fiber cord to the pen mark. Ensure a clean square jacket edge. Make sure the Kevlar is away from the buffer, then slide the selected crimp sleeve down the fiber approximately 30 millimeters from the edge of the jacket. Hold the Kevlar with the crimp sleeve. Please note, for the 2.4 mm version sleeve, the grooved end goes in first. Make sure that any slack fiber is pushed back inside the jacket. Mark the buffer at the jacket edge, and again at 11 mm from the jacket edge. Strip the 900 micron buffer from the fiber up to the 11 mm mark. Strip the buffer from the fiber in small 5 mm portions to avoid fiber breakage. Be careful that your reference mark does not move during stripping. Squeezing the jacket will prevent the buffered fiber from moving. Clean the bare fiber with a folded alcohol wipe. Position the buffer edge against the stopper on the cleaver and cleave the fiber 7 mm from the end of the buffer. Collect all the fiber waste in your waste bottle. Compare the prepared cord with the illustration on the fiber preparation guide. If the pen mark at the edge of the jacket has moved during the stripping operation, you will have to readjust the buffer. Inspect the cleave with your microscope. Turn the microscope over. Open the cover and place cleaved fiber on stage. Make sure that the 900 micron buffer is snapped in the groove and the buffer end is resting against the stopper. Close the cover, turn the microscope back over, and check the quality of your cleave. Pointing the microscope at a white surface will provide a brighter image. If the cleave is unacceptable, repeat the stripping operation and again be sure to clean the bare fiber before the cleaving procedure is repeated. Once a good cleave has been achieved, continue with the installation process. 
Remove the rear dust cap from the connector body. Carefully insert the bare fiber into the connector stem until you feel the fiber make contact. The final position of the jacket edge should be less than 2 millimeters from the stem. Please note, do not disturb the fiber after it has been inserted. Secure the cord in the clamp, allowing a slight bow in the cord. This will maintain a contact between the end faces of the fibers. Press the plunger on the installation tool and hook the release wire on the connector. Slowly release the plunger. Push and rotate the connector one quarter of a turn in a counterclockwise direction. This action will unlock the connector assembly from the installation tool. Rest the crimping tool on the connector body to aid correct alignment. Using the first die position on your crimping tool, strongly crimp the stem of the connector assembly. Reinsert the connector body into the installation tool. Push and turn the unit a quarter of a turn in a clockwise direction until it locks. Now turn the unit one eighth of a turn in a counterclockwise direction to fully expose the end of the connector. Unclamp the fiber cord from the installation tool. Slide the selected crimp sleeve farther down the fiber to release the Kevlar. Carefully cut off the Kevlar at the connector body. Spread the Kevlar evenly around the stem portion of the connector. Slide the crimp sleeve over the Kevlar, ensuring the sleeve is butted against the retaining ring on the connector. To aid alignment, rest the crimping tool on the connector body and using the middle die position, crimp the sleeve. Align and press the rear housing assembly into the front housing until you hear a click. Remove the connector from the installation tool. This completes the installation procedure of an Optimax ST compatible connector onto jacketed fiber. The connector must be cleaned before it is installed in the fiber panel. Proper cleaning methods have been shown previously after the safety precautions. Always refer to your Optimax ST compatible installation instruction manual when installing your connectors.